Hello friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer an Azure subscription from one tenant to another. There's a couple reasons why you'd want to do this, but in my case, I get free credits for my work, um, but I would like to transfer that over to my personal tenant, so then that way I can use those credits for my home lab. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure that we have an account in both tenants that has the proper access permissions to manage the subscription. So right now I'm inside of my work tenant and I want to go ahead and go to subscriptions. And this is the subscription that I'm going to be transferring over to my personal tenant. What you'll want to do is click on the subscription name, go to IAM, role assignments, and you're going to want to make sure that you are the owner of the subscription. If you're not, you can go ahead and add yourself as the owner up above by clicking add, role assignment, Privilege Administrator, and uh, you'll go ahead and give yourself access in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the new tenant, and we're going to set up a guest user account using the email from the old tenant, and we're going to go ahead and give that account all the access and privileges they need to manage the subscription. We're going to go into Active Directory, Users, and then you're going to add a new user, but click the little drop down arrow and we're going to invite an external user. From here, you're going to go ahead and enter the email address of the user from the old tenant. Uh, you can enter whatever display name you'd want. And then you're going to move over here to assignments, add role. And I'm going to personally give this uh, user account global administrator. We'll click that, click select and you'll go ahead and create that account. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this, so I'm going to exit out. And under the user's account, you can see this is the account that I created. Now I'm gonna to wanna to activate my work user account inside of my personal tenant. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go into my personal tenant. I'm gonna to go to Azure Active Directory and here I see the primary domain of my personal tenant. In this case, it's iampatlaffey.onmicrosoft.com. Go ahead and copy that. We're gonna open up a new window, and I'm gonna to go to portal.azure.com slash pound sign at symbol, and then I'm gonna paste in the domain name that I just copied. Once here, I'm gonna sign in with my work account. This is the old domain, or the old tenant. And it's gonna ask if I wanna go ahead and, um, you know, give permissions, and I'm gonna accept. It's gonna take some time, and then once it's done, everything's gonna be activated on the tenant. All right, and I just had to finish setting MFA up on my guest user account in my personal tenant. Uh, you may or may not have that on your end. So I'm in my personal tenant, and if we go to subscriptions, you can see I do not have a subscription here yet. So let's go ahead and bring the subscription on over from my work tenant. We're going to go ahead and click on the top right, switch directory, and you can see we're currently on this domain, which is my personal tenant, and we're going to switch over to my work tenant. You'll just click the switch button. Once we're here, it's automatically bringing me over to the subscriptions page. If you don't have that, you can start from the home page and go to subscriptions. You'll go ahead and click on the subscription name that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and change directory, the change directory button up top. Now what you'll do is do the drop down and we're going to go ahead and select my uh, tenant. And so then the, the tenant that is my personal tenant um, is actually called default directory. I need to rename that. And then you'll go ahead and check the checkbox here and you'll click change. Now this could take up to 10 minutes. Um, it takes a while in uh, my experience. Um, I've been testing it and it usually takes five to 10 minutes here. So uh, just be patient and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I just waited a couple minutes here and it looks like my subscription isn't in my work subscriptions uh, blade. So what I'll do is I'll go to the top right, switch directory, and I'll switch over to my personal tenant. We'll default to the subscriptions blade in my 
new personal tenant. And once that loads, you can see the subscription right here. And everything looks like it transferred over. So if you want to go ahead and click on the subscription here, uh, we want to make sure that we give the proper accounts access that we want. Uh, so we go to Access Control IAM, and we'll do Role Assignments. Um, with the power of editing, I came in here and already gave my account uh, ownership access. But if you want to go ahead and uh, give any sort of access to any of the accounts that you that you want, you would go to Add Role Assignment. And it's just like the last one. We'll do privileged administrator roles. Um, I gave ownership access. Next, you'll select the members from here, and then you'll go from there. I appreciate you watching my video. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a great rest of your day.